Hello everyone, today we will talk about Pluto transit. Pluto passes through Capricorn. The way Pluto behaves in transit in Capricorn depends on the position of the individual's natal chart and the house rules of Capricorn. This transit may be more prominent in your life when you have another planet in Capricorn, transiting, or natal, heavy or easy aspects towards Saturn. But the basics are that. Pluto's fearsome reputation brings changes that are so profound and complete. While this is one of Pluto's worst releases, a release where we're going to be stripped down to the core, and rebuilding on the foundations of something that feels real is highly questionable. On November 27, 2008, Pluto, the cosmic harbinger of elimination and regeneration, officially entered Capricorn, the sign of tradition, public awareness, construction, and governance. Pluto spends 12 to 30 years in a sign due to its elliptical orbit. We will feel his dramatic transformations on a personal level, and the position of the house will either soften his negative movement or intensify it. The very transition into the sign of Capricorn brings significant release of taboos, and the upheavals that often occur build up our cultural mythology in real time. Pluto's entry into Capricorn in the 1760s coincided with the American Revolution and the Industrial Revolution, we are still paying its consequences to this day, and we are witness to the proverb that where Pluto passes, grass no longer grows. That is why today we have huge natural disasters and massive animal extinctions. Our life, which was supposed to be in harmony with nature, was thrown out of balance. Its beginning in 2008 corresponded to the Great Recession. And each of these crises obviously related to Capricorn virtues such as ambition and authority. Over the course of 16 years, when Pluto is retrograde and when it is direct, many things will be brought to light. We will see more and more problems with our privacy, if we have any at all. We will see control at every step, very bad politicians and great corruption. We will see human depravity being celebrated, and the turning of a global economy motivated by greed. All this will be a crucial and irresistible first step towards a truly effective way of creating our common future. Humans are a species that refuses to accept the limitations of life on Earth, preferring to master them and make them work to our personal advantage. This can lead to great progress, but is it wise and sustainable? Could this not give rise to disaffected and competitively unstable societies, each obsessed with rules based on self-interest, and thus faced with conflict and war? The preface is that Pluto is removing, to make room for something completely new. But it is necessary to know how he does it. The very comparison of Pluto with nuclear energy speaks of its destructive power. It is important to remember when considering Pluto that there is no concept of right and wrong or good and bad for it outside of our human perspective. Pluto is as much a devastating earthquake as the wandering blackberry in your garden, fighting the softer plants, in its desire to live and grow. Pluto is also power, and all the things that go with it, sex, coercion, and control. We see Pluto's lower vibration and retrograde in difficult dictators, greedy entrepreneurs, and politicians. Looking at the birth charts, you always know about transiting Pluto when he decides to stop by for a visit, no matter what kind of change it is, there is no mistake in his business card. With symbolism and mythology behind it that relates to the darker and deeper issues of life, we can say that Pluto is a planet aptly named Pluto. Through your astrological chart, and the position ruled by Capricorn, you will radically change the way you present yourself and your lifestyle. If you engage in self-defeating behavior, you will realize that during the long Pluto transit, you will experience a fall and eventually change that behavior, one way or another. The ultimate endgame of Pluto is to dig up inner treasures and purge what is inauthentic, sometimes through psychic death and rebirth. It is an inside-out change from facing core fears and transforming wounds into greatest strengths. For example, if Capricorn is in your first house, in the house where you get to know yourself, your basic needs and desire to be seen as an individual. The very entry of Pluto will make you take a deeper look in the mirror. To question that mask you show everyone. To Pluto, you can't pretend, pretend to be the person you are or want to be. Effects picked up out of habit are exposed to toxic behavior and it's time to peel off those false layers. 
radical changes in style and body, as overlaps, surface features, armor, fat, are removed. Visible transformation that others see and that changes the way others relate to you. Revision of self-image, character and confidence, and on the other hand unlocking and expressing the power of what is unique about you. Looking at the whole picture, change sounds great. The real shame lies in the fact that Pluto has no boundaries, and through Capricorn he will do change at any cost. Even if it was physical self-destruction. So the matter is identical both on a private and global level. As we have already stated, Pluto does not know what is good and what is bad. He knows what he has to do and the way is open for him, because Capricorn is preoccupied with tradition, public consciousness, construction, and management, he does not see what is happening under the ground. Capricorn as a sign has no chance of resisting Pluto's action if there are no other planets in aspects or in close proximity. On the contrary, Capricorn itself falls under the influence of Pluto. Well, we have influencers who are increasingly instilling more trust than the brands themselves. Conspiracy theories that become reality. Our allegiance begins to serve only to promote the agendas of the so-called plutocracy, those already in power. Corruption in high circles. Sexual perversions and extravagances that become a mirror of society and spying at every step under the pretext of protection. And that right, not recognizing personal responsibility. Very bad. There are patterns that must be broken, which are themes, ideas, habits, and behaviors that are repeated and transmitted from generation to generation through the family community or through social cultures. Breaking these patterns will hurt and it will hurt a lot. Using the dark side of Pluto can create great success until everything collapses on itself, and the only way to work with Pluto is to learn to let go, let go of your need for control and transcend ego impulses.